This is Gramostola porcripes, also known as the Chaco Golden Knee Tarantula. Now, this gangly looking at right here is also a Chaco Golden Knee Tarantula. However, he's a mature male, and we're gonna call him Lincoln because he's a lanky boy. This is a pedipalp, and you can think of them as the tarantula's arms. Interestingly, the pedipalps of a mature male have specialized organs on each tip called emboli. These emboli are what the male spiders use to inseminate the female. So in other words, that's a tarantula dick, and that is too. Bruh. Now, Lincoln is coming towards the end of his life, and as a result, he needs to seduce Becky with the hefty as soon as possible. Lincoln starts this process by tapping his pedipalps, which sends vibrations to the female. These vibrations are how the spiders communicate with one another. Interestingly, tarantulas don't have any ears. Huh? In fact, they're completely deaf. Since Becky is deaf, she uses all the hairs littered on her body to discern Lincoln's seductive dirty talk. Do you want to smash? The female responding back with taps and vibrations of her own is a really good sign since this is her way of telling the male Yes, I am receptive and want your emboli inside of me. Dot, dot. Now that both spiders are riled up, it's time for the male to make a move. Lincoln rushes Becky and slides his tibial hooks underneath her fangs so that he can hold her up, but more importantly, avoid being Becky's next meal. With both Choco Golden Knee tarantulas in the right position, Lincoln starts to insert both of his emboli into Becky's epigastric furrow, aka her spider put. The entire process lasted roughly a minute or two, and now that we got the successful pairing out of the way, we're going to be trying something that has never been done before. This is Yasmin, and we're going to be placing her next to Becky and Lincoln to see if my boy's loyal. Almost instantly, without hesitation, this PIMP Lincoln begins serenading Yasmin. Are you an orphanage? Because I want to give you kids. What did he say? That was smooth. Now insert my epigastric furrow. Really? Yes, I'm coming for them babies. Becky interrupts the two lovebirds by rushing towards Lincoln with her giant fangs. And seeing as Lincoln is so skinny compared to Becky, he was quick to run in the other direction. Period, 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 period.